Hi, my name is Malcolm Roach, and today I'm going to talk about how to make sure your customer always gets the best rental price. So we're going to go to the rental price setup for skid steer loaders, and you'll see in the setup I've got prices for all customers. So I've got day rates of $100, a weekly rate of $225, monthly rates of $600. And then for a, a one specific customer, I put in some discounted rates. So perhaps they're a better customer. In this case, it's Bob's Landscaping. And I'm giving them monthly prices of $540, daily of $85, and weekly of $200. Now, in the setup, I've actually turned on the best pricing flag. And so what that means is for, for both situations, if the customer has the equipment for three days to seven days, it'll automatically bill them for a week because a week is cheaper than three days. And the same is true in the week versus the month. If the customer has the equipment for three or four weeks or they have it for three weeks and two days because a month is cheaper than any of those other combinations, it'll automatically bill them for a month. So let's go take a look at the setup in a situation where I have a customer that I don't necessarily want to set up customer specific pricing for a category of equipment. What I want to do is I want to give them a 10% discount on all rentals. So we come over to customers here and we look at Acme Rentals, Acme Construction, sorry. So we want to look at Acme Construction. And in there, if we look down on the rental tab, you can see that we've got a 10% default rental discount percentage. So that means that every time they rent something, I'm going to give them 10% off the standard pricing. This way I don't have to maintain special pricing for Acme and all the different equipment groups. Uh, I can just give them a 10% discount. In Bob's landscaping case, I may have wanted to give them 10% on the skid steers, but perhaps nothing else. And so having that group specific discount or special pricing for Bob's uh, in that case was applicable. So let's go take a look at how this works then when we specify a rental contract. Uh, it also works the same for rental quotes, but we're just going to be starting right from a rental contract. So back in the home page, we've got a quick link for a rental contract. And we're just going to pick any customer on the list that isn't Bob's Landscaping or Acme Construction. We're going to come down here. We're going to specify the skid steer and put in a one skid steer and you'll see now we've got our standard pricing of 600 225 and 100. if we print that to the screen we want to look at the alternate prices so i'll turn that flag on terms and conditions i'm i'm not turning on at the moment and then we'll just do a preview and so this customer is being quoted at 600 dollars a month and there's their pricing for the three different periods Okay, now let's go take a look at what happens with Bob's landscaping. Now from this rental contract, I can just hit the plus sign at the top. It'll automatically create a new contract and I can just type in Bob's landscaping. Pick my skid steers again. Quantity of one, and you can see the special pricing of $540, $285 drops in here. And if I print that to the screen again, just to get a look at what it does, then I've got $540 for a month, and I've got my rates for the special rates for the three periods, okay? Now, the last thing to do is to go back and see what happens on Acme Construction. So I'll create another rental contract. Just type in Acme, pick my skid steers, rental quantity of one, and you'll notice the rates are still the full rates, but I have a 10% discount on a in the in the line discount percentage field and so that will discount the rates automatically based on that setup that we did on the customer card now something also as well is that in the system if the salesperson is talking to the customer and the salesperson convinces them to give them a special rate you can either come in here and override the percentage if you choose the discount percentage you can override the discount percentage or you can actually discount or change the rates if you don't want them changeable, then we can manage that. But for standard process is that you are allowed to change them. Okay, so we'll do a print again, show the alternate prices, do a preview. And you'll see that they now get that 540 
the same as Bob's, but they got it through a discount rather than a special price. And because it's a discount, then it doesn't necessarily calculate the same way. So we've got 540, 19, 202. And that's really just because I put random numbers in uh, to the system and the 10% calculated a little differently than how I set up Bob's. So anyway, that's how you make sure that your customer always gets best pricing. Well, it's got pretty flexible setup. You have a number of options. Thank you.